Amy and Nui, by Libby Glisson and Flaya Blackwood. Amy and Nui built towers as high as the sky. They dug holes deep enough to bury bears, and they saw magical creatures in clouds. When Amy was in the sandpit and Louis was on the swing, she called to him across the yard with a special word her mum taught her. Cooey, Louis! Louis always came to play. When Louis was in the dressing up corner and Amy was with the play doh, he called to her across the room with the same special word. Cooey, Amy. Amy always came to play. And when they were at home, they called to each other across the fence. Cooey, Louie. Cooey, Amy. One of them would soon come climbing through the gap with secrets to share. But one day, Amy and her family moved a long, long way away. Louis stopped building towers, digging holes, or staring at the clouds. He no longer called to anyone across the yard, the room, or the fence. He thought about Amy every day and every night. In the place where Amy was, there was nowhere to dig holes or build towers, and the clouds held only raindrops. She thought about Louis every night and every day. If I call Amy really loudly, she will hear me, won't she? Louis asked his mom. His mom shook her head. Amy is too far away," she said. "When you are awake in the day, she will sleep at night. If I call Amy really, really loudly, she will hear me, won't she?" He asked his dad. His dad shook his head. "Amy is half the world away," he said. "When she is awake in the day, you are asleep at night." If I call Amy with the loudest call anyone could ever, ever do, she will hear me, won't she? He asked his grandma. Maybe, his grandma said. You can only try. So Louis spread his arms as wide as he could and threw back his head. Cooey. His cry ran out across the yard, across the street, and past the edge of the town. Louis fell back and stared up at the sky, where clouds were making strange seahorses and wild, wild dragons. Across the ocean, in a city where tall buildings stretched to the sky, Amy woke and came sleepily to breakfast. I had a lovely dream, she said. I dreamt about Louis, and he called me. This story is for all my friends in America. When I'm awake in the day, you are asleep at night. I still miss you every day and every night.